Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, Mr. Greek, 2002. In today's video, I'm actually gonna go ahead and order my Mark VI Volkswagen Jetta 2 liter non-turbo tune. That's right guys. I'm gonna go ahead now and put some gas in the car. SO 93 octane. I'll put in a few liters, all right? I'm then gonna go ahead off and get some dessert. And then after that, we're gonna go for the actual dyno, all right? We're gonna be checking our numbers and seeing how fast the stock ECU tune straight from Volkswagen does. Without further ado guys, on to the video. And there we are guys, 16.82 liters, wonderful. Straight out Wendy's. I'm gonna go ahead now guys and get a Frosty for dessert basically guys, yeah. We've got Drake here on top, always. Don't you wanna dance with me? No, I could dance like Michael J. Son. All right guys, let's order now. Hi, may I take order please? Yes, can I have a small chocolate Frosty? Anything else? That's it. First window, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, guys, first window. So now, guys, I'm parked up here at the Wendy's parking lot. I've got my Frosty, small, chocolate flavored. I'm about to go ahead now and devour this. Oh my goodness, guys. I had today sort of like a brunch, so therefore I'm allowed to have my dessert now. After this, we're then heading on over to the actual dino shop. <laughs> So guys, I finally made it out here. It's raining pretty heavily. The place is called Ruckus Motorsports. We're gonna be dynaming the car. My appointment is almost here. This is the actual dyno. It's a dyno jet dyno. There's two rolling things in the ground for your front wheel drive vehicle or rear wheel drive vehicle. It's not a all wheel drive dyno, no. The mechanics pulled the car in now and are getting the car ready. They just installed this line to the spark plug wire and now they're actually ratcheting the car down with straps. Okay, there's the actual screen, the TV, with all the information in it, wonderful. All right. And then now they're finishing off the ratcheting down the vehicle more thoroughly. It's got two points in front that bolt down to the ground and two spots in the rear that also bolt down to the ground. And they've got a fan at the front of the car, ready to start to blow in the engine. And here you guys can see the actual wire that's clamped to the spark plug wire. And it goes down to the driver's door on top of the mirror and goes back down to the screen. Here's the actual fan. Here's the clamps at the back of the car, the two spots, it's got a good ratchet it down. Okay, mechanic's getting ready there. Yep, he's loading his files. He's doing some computer work, getting ready. So, there you have it guys. The car is all strapped down, the fan is turned on. It's all ready to go ahead and be dynoed. Uh, Two poles, yeah. Two poles. Maybe third gear, yeah. Yeah. And we're off guys, this is the first run. And that guys was the first run, you could see here somehow the transmission changed gears and therefore the power dipped and then went back up again. The horsepower maximum on this run was 83.55. This now guys is the second run. The car did 92.72 horsepower on the second run. Wow guys, amazing. The mechanics generously threw in a third run after all, and here it is. This guys is the conclusion. It was 88.04 horsepower, so not too bad. Here guys is the actual LCD screen where all three holes are shown. The highest pull being 92.72 horsepower. So that's it. They're pulling the car out now. All done. I'll be coming back here this coming week in order to dyno the tuned ECU file. 
The car did okay. The only gripe was with the mechanics was that the car kept changing gears, even in Teptronic mode which is basically manual mode. The car kept shifting gears from second to third very quickly. It didn't let it run to red line, basically. No, that's why the reading was so low. Guys, I'm not in the car. I'm sitting here at the shop still. I just turned it on. I've got these lights on here. Airbag, ABS, traction control. I don't know guys what those are. All right, guys, we just left the mechanic shop. We're now on a back road here. And yeah, the lights went away pretty much Instantly, after driving a couple of meters, bam, all lights went away. Wonderful, guys. Absolutely perfect. All right. Done a run. Successful, I guess, guys. Back at home now. I've got here my iPad 2018, regular version one. Okay, 9.7 inch. I'm here now on Safari Browser. I went on reflecttuning.com. This link, guys, will be down in the description below. Okay. So here basically is where you go for this Mark 6 2 liter for the Volkswagen Jetta. North American version. You can have a US version or a Canadian version. It's up to you. Will this work with like, uh, let's say, a car from Mexico? Possibly. Okay. And you're gonna find here now the email address. Here, email inquiries. Yeah, here. So here you basically email, you put, you know, your name, your email address, and the message you wanna say. I basically just type in, you know, hi, I'm from Canada, I've got a Mark 6 2 liter Jetta, I want this tune I heard you guys have. The tune is not actually in their catalog for buying here. If you go back, you go to tuning, you won't find the, uh, Mark 6 Jetta 2 liter tune on here, but they for sure have it. All you gonna do is just email them saying that you heard that they have this tune for your car. It's a Mark 6 2 liter car. And you heard they had a tune. Press send, and within a day or two, a person by the name of Ian will email you back saying that, yep, yeah, this tune is available for your car, but they're gonna need your actual ECU part number. So, how did I get mine? Well, I have Vacom from Rostec and I hooked it up to my computer via a laptop. And, you know, by going through the menus in the ECU area of the actual Vacom, I was able to find the part number. So I sent them the part number and I said, yeah, they have a tune for this ECU and they're able to sell it to me. Or what did they sell me? They sold me the entire ECU, like a whole new ECU. It's basically, I think, a used one, but it's a whole new ECU, at least new to you, that they flash and tune in their shop, which is in North Carolina. And they ship you over the whole entire ECU in a bubbled envelope. Okay, so in a few days, hopefully I'll get mine and I'll be able to swap ECUs in order to have a tuned engine. All right, so how much did it cost me? Well, I'm told that this tune will cost $350 US, okay? That should include shipping. I don't know if there's any taxes involved in there, but that's what I was told. Because I'm wondering now, guys, during this whole pandemic, they've actually dropped the price to 300 US dollars shipped. So I got it for today. $300 ship US to Canada. And I'm told there's no border fees and no taxes across the border. Just $300 US. It came out to about $420 Canadian. All right, guys. So hopefully in a few days, I'll get this tune in the mail and I'll be able to swap over ECUs. And hopefully by the next video, we'll do that. And then in the same video, we'll head that over to the exact same dyno shop and we'll re-dyno the car. All right. And that's basically how you get your Mark 6 Jetta 2 liter tune. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just getting this information out there for you guys simply because I know that there's a lot of you out there who would love to have a Volkswagen Mark 6 Jetta 2 liter tune. So basically, I'm doing this video just for you guys. Not so much for the company, but they are wonderful people. They do deserve a shout out, but it's mainly for the enthusiasts and the car owners. So this effectively ends the video. This is Mr. Greek 2002. Please guys, give a huge like on this video and don't forget to subscribe for more content take care have a good day and i hope to see you guys in the next video